Hi everyone, so I look like a hot mess because I've been in my gym stuff all day, I have a stain on my top and I just look horrendous. I feel like I'm in the mood for a bit of pampering and I always start with my hair because that's the thing that makes me feel a lot better. So today I'm going to take you through how I tone my hair. In lockdown, I did a few baby lights on the top of my hair. For some reason I panicked because I read this thing about it breaking off. So I panicked, I took the foils out and was like, oh my God, it's a bit more fluorescent orange than um, originally planned. Now, I don't know if you noticed sort of more so up here, it's a little bit on the brassy side um, and I haven't toned my hair. I just use purple shampoo, but to be fair, this needs like an extra little bit of bleaching session. But there's something I do to make my hair go more ashy and instead of me having to bleach my hair once again, um, what I tend to do is tone it which lasts quite a long time and it tones some of the sort of darker pieces. I always get my hair professionally done so I'm just somebody in my house during lockdown that's fed up with her hair and face and everything else. Um, but I have been doing this for quite some time because we've been in lockdown for what feels like forever um, and I always do this in between sort of salon visits as well so I'm not a professional but I've done this so many different times. So the products I'm going to be using today and um, the first thing I'm going to be using is the Dialyte, um, what is this? It's like a Dialyte toner from L'Oreal. So yeah this is the Dialyte toner from L'Oreal and I use this all the time and it is in the shade of 9.11 which is deep ash uh, milkshake I use this all the time I get it on eBay um, I used to get it on Amazon but I can't get that anymore which is just annoying so yeah I'm gonna be using this now this is a, um, a gel cream that I mix in um, with this um, developer here which is from matrix so this here is the developer that I use from matrix and this is 3% slash 10 volume and then the last thing that I ever use is like one of these really crappy bowls to like mix everything in um, and these little pasty things. So those are the only three things um, that I ever use and I'm just gonna take you through it. Do you know what I mean? Like if, if this is, if you, but how much do I use? So I'm not gonna do the ends too much and um, cause you'll notice there's some patches where the purple shampoo sort of took, taken to it quite nicely. Um, and that's all just because my hair is like literally different tones. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is focus it more so on sort of the top end because that's where I added like a few um, highlights, I guess. So because I'm only focusing on sort of the top uh, section of my hair, I'm not actually gonna be using that much product and I will probably end up taking like maybe a third. So where that line is, I'll probably just end up taking that whole section. I also thought I'd just show you a bit of a close up about what it looks like at the minute. Um, it's very multi-tonal because I've got so many different, <laughs> Sorry, I've just ran down the stairs. Good in a towel. Um, so yeah, you'll see that where I've added sort of these, where I've added some baby lights, um, it's definitely more on the bronzy side, but then on the back, I've got sort of loads of different strands of different tones. I'm just gonna take um, like a third of this. Oh, I love how this stuff smells. So, so good. Right, so I'm just gonna take like a third of that gel developer. Um, and this is what it currently looks like in the bowl. And then what I tend to do with um, the developer, I just sort of coat uh, the top of it. So if I, it's, it's really difficult to show you actually, let me just put it in. So if you can see that I just coat sort of the top um, of that. And what I'm doing now is I'm just mixing this up together until it's sort of like a bit more of a creamy paste. So this is what it currently looks like on the brush. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is just sort of section off, and I'm gonna do each side of my hair like together. Now the thing is, because this develops quite quickly, um, I don't want to spend sort of too much time messing around with it. So what I'm gonna do is just um, apply it and yeah, I'm gonna do maybe a voiceover. I don't know if I've mentioned as well, you guys, I'm not um, like applying it directly onto the bottom part of my hair because 
it will just sort of drain down and um, I've done this before anyway, like the ends of my hair, I don't want to like overtone them. Okay, so now I've done the uh, bulk of it, it looks quite scary like when you first see it and you start to like notice that it's changed colour, it, it can be quite scary but um, but yeah, don't be scared by it because it washes off and it's not like the colour isn't exactly like this. So what I'm going to do now is just with a bit of spare product, I'm going to go in in just any areas that I think um, are a little bit brassy and maybe could just do with a bit of a, you know, a, a top up I guess. Um, but don't forget as well to do like underneath the hand, the, sorry, stretch of hair because um, I do all the time and kick myself when I get out and I've just got like one orange streak. Okay guys, so I've probably been doing this for quite a few minutes now and I can already see it sort of um, working its magic. So um, it's currently five past three and ugh, ugh. what I'm gonna do now is just leave that on for just another few minutes. Um, just let that sort of do its magic. And then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna dry my hair, I'm gonna show you what products I use and Let's do a before and after. Okay, so the styling process once I've washed this all out with shampoo and conditioner is I'm going to take the VO5 heat defense spray and the Phyto. It's like a moisturizing cream. It's really, really good um, and makes your hair feel sort of sleek and super hydrated. So what I'm going to do is just make sure that that's coated in my hair. Um, for extra protection and then I'm just going to go in on the sort of medium heat initially um, I don't know, I can't explain this <laughs> uh, just look away uh, but yeah this is the end result after blow drying my hair and whilst it's not overly noticeable you can absolutely see that it's taken that sort of yellowy orangey tone away from it and it's a bit more permanent than purple shampoo everyone so this is the final outcome um, it looks slightly different on camera than it does in person like it it doesn't look I don't know like there's still some odd tones in there coming up on camera in person it genuinely doesn't look like that it looks like a really lovely like ashy color so maybe it's like the the light that's hitting it I don't know um, but yeah this is the way that I sort of top up my treatment in between my color in between treatments uh, with the hair salon and of course the hair salons are all shut at the minute so we you know forever a bad hair day um, but yeah this is just something that I do for maintenance in the meantime make it go a little bit better until I get it professionally done um, so yeah so thank you so much for watching this video I shall see you in my next one bye